give them time, give them the opportunity to work. If you do this on your own, you're not embarrassing anyone else by saying, oh, come on, Edward, for goodness sake, get a move on. If you rush them, they get worried. As in all the rest of our training, just do a little bit of a time, and if you do it on your own, you have the opportunity to give them the chance to develop naturally. Tess, come here, Tess. So if she hadn't got an idea of how it works now, where will she have? One of the temptations there, there'll be a bit of scent here because I could see some pheasants running down here a moment ago. A hedgerow is a lovely thing to shoot with a spaniel. Absolutely ideal, but don't let those cockers get in there and burrow away to the other end and flush that pheasant out of shot. Keep giving them a pip, insist on them working back and working for us. Look, what are they? Sit up. Run away. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Tash. Tash, get on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Let's sit up. Now that's pleasing for me, isn't it? If you remember back to the pantomime that we had with her when she was a baby in some of the former pro parts of the program, she's going, I couldn't pick that sit up. I couldn't pick that up. I'm quite happy to give her that dropping on that stubble there because she's not what one would call full of it yet. A bit later on, we might be saying, you hold on a minute, that's not for you. But for the moment, you did really well, little girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit down. And nice and cleanly picked, too. Surprising what they can come up with if they really try. She's actually retrieved that rather cleanly, more cleanly than I would have expected her to. Was that all right for you, Mother? Good girl. Good girl. We'll walk round the other side here and uh, work that other piece down. Heel. <laughs> Sit up. That's going to make too mighty a retrieve for a baby. So we're going to send mother through for that. She's got to go through two wire fences and a hedge. Sit up. To do her no harm because she's already had a retrieve back there out in the open. So if her mother goes past her, good thing. Sit up. Flex. Straight out there. Straight to the without actually being able to see the fall at all. Now we'd watch for the baby here. When she comes through with this, it's likely the baby wants to go for her. Just to take the pheasant. Flex, come on, flex. 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 But a well-trained baby doesn't. Good girl. Sit up. Sit up. Good girl. Sit up. Good girl, Lovey. Good girl. Good girl. That's rough shooting for you, isn't it? The only reason I came... I was going to duck in there, that side of those bales, and the only reason I came around here was because of that piece of stubble that the combine missed, because of that overhanging branch and you take advantage of every opportunity. Just like the training, isn't it? I'm pleased with you, Pear. Good girl, good girl. Sit up. Obviously, full of scent for her. There's five or six pheasants that have gone out a bit forward. When they get that head of steam, for us, for us, we want the head of steam, but we want it generated in the right position. Good girl, 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 good girl